Hi, third graders. This is Mrs. Oyster, and today I am going to teach you day two, lesson two of our geometry unit. Our target today is to be able to identify quadrilaterals and to describe the attributes of quadrilaterals. So let's review what we learned last time. Yesterday, we talked about polygons and how polygons are closed shapes that have three or more straight sides. And we learned triangle, we learned hexagon, we learned quadrilateral, octagon, pentagon. We learned a few different vocabulary words to describe those polygons. Today we are focusing, focusing on just quadrilaterals. That is kind of a mouthful of a word. I'm going to try and say it correctly. So a quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides. So look at the shapes here at the bottom of this screen. Some of these are quadrilaterals and some are not quadrilaterals. So let's look at this first one that looks like an L. That one has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So that is not a quadrilateral. Bonus point, do you know what it would be called? If you said hexagon, you would be right, six sides. Let's look at this yellow one here. This one has one, two, three, four sides. Is that a quadrilateral? Yes, it is. So we're going to put it over here on this side. How about the green shape? One, two, three, four, five. That's five sides. So that is not a quadrilateral. Do you know what it would be called? It would be a pentagon because it has five sides. And then this one here, one, two, three, four sides. So that one, yes, it is a quadrilateral. So what made these shapes quadrilaterals? They are polygons four sides. So before we start really digging into um, describing the attributes of quadrilaterals, there are some words, some geometric vocabulary that you need to be familiar with and we'll keep on coming back to these words. Some of these are from yesterday's lesson. Polygon, a closed shape with three or more angles and three or more straight sides. A side is any line segment used to form a polygon. So if you look down here at this rectangle here, these are the sides What I'm tracing with my mouse. Those are the sides. Angles are formed when two sides meet. So the inside of the corner is the angle. So this here that I'm tracing, that's the angle. It's the inside of the corner. This is the angle. This is the angle and this is an angle, okay? So this one has four angles. A vertex or a corner is the point, the place where two sides meet. And I wrote the plural form of this word is vertices or corners, of course. So this side and this side, they meet right here. This is the corner or the vertex. This is another corner or vertex. Another one and another one. And then the last phrase I want you to be familiar with is opposite sides, that sides that are across from one another. Sometimes when we describe shapes, we will talk about their opposite sides. So here's one side. The opposite side is this one, okay? They're across from each other. Here's another side. The opposite side to this one is this side. They're across from each other. So when we talk about these shapes, when we talk about opposite sides, we mean the sides that are across from one another. All right, now here's some new vocabulary. You know what an angle is. We just talked about that. We are going to talk about a certain kind of angle called a right angle. And right angle is an angle that has 90 degrees. That's how you measure its angle. You don't need to memorize that, but you'll get there in fourth grade. It's the corner of a square. I often call a right angle a square angle. So if you take a piece of paper and you look at the corner of that piece of paper, that is a right angle. Books. The corner of a book is a right angle, unless it's one of those crazy shaped books. Um, so right angles are perfectly square angles, and they're usually marked by this little square symbol in the middle. So if you see an angle and it's got this square, that means it's a right angle. It's a perfect square angle, okay? Another phrase is parallel sides. Opposite sides are sometimes parallel. Remember opposite sides from the previous slide? If sides are parallel, it means they are always the same distance apart. So take a look at side A 
and side C. These are opposite sides. If I were to continue these lines on and on and on and on forever and ever, and then I can continue this line on and on forever and ever, they would never cross. They would always be the same distance apart. So they are parallel. Now look at side D and side B. If I were to continue these sides, would they always be the same distance apart? No, they wouldn't. They would eventually cross or move farther away from each other. So these sides, D and B, are not parallel. Parallel sides are sides that are always the same distance apart. They can go on forever and ever and ever, and they will never cross. So now that you know this vocabulary, let's look at four different types of quadrilaterals. There are a couple more that we will be adding in, but for today we'll focus on these. This page is also in your math packet on page one. So let's start with a square. A square is a quadrilateral. It is a form of or a type of parallelogram, which means it has two pairs of parallel sides. So what that means is this side and this side on the square are parallel. And also this side and this side of the square are parallel. Okay, so it has two pairs of parallel sides. In a square, all four sides are equal lengths. They're all the same length. If I got a ruler and measured them, they would all be exactly the same. And a square also has four right angles. So four perfectly square angles. Okay, so that's what we call a square. Now here's a rectangle. A rectangular, a rectangle is similar to a square, but it has one big difference. So let's look at a rectangle. It is also what we call a parallelogram, which means it has two pairs of parallel sides. This is parallel to this. There's one pair of parallel sides. This side is parallel to this side. There's another pair of parallel sides. Now opposite sides are equal length. Remember I talked about opposite sides? So these two sides are the same length. And these two sides are the same length. But are they all four the same length? No. Okay, that's what makes it different from a square. The opposite sides are parallel and the same length, but not all four of them are the same length. Now, a rectangle, also similar to a square, has four right angles. Bam, bam, over here and over here. Now, how about a rhombus? A lot of kids want to call a rhombus a diamond. And it does look like a diamond, so I can see that. But we are going to use the technical mathematical term of rhombus. And a rhombus is also a parallelogram, which means it has two pairs of parallel sides. Okay, this side and this side are parallel. This side and this side are parallel. And a rhombus has all four sides equal length. So all of these sides are equal length. So you might be thinking, hey, that sounds a lot like a square. It is very similar to a square. The difference is a rhombus does not have to have four right angles. It has four angles, but do these angles make a perfect square angle? Nope, they do not. So that's what makes this a rhombus. The fourth quadrilateral we're going to identify is a trapezoid. This is an example of a trapezoid right here. A trapezoid only has one pair of parallel sides. Now this says that two sides are equal length. Often a trapezoid has two sides of equal length, but it does not have to, okay? So if I were you, I would cross that off on your notes, but a trapezoid does have to have one pair of parallel sides. So look at this trapezoid. The top and the bottom side are parallel. If you continue the lines, they won't cross. But these two sides right here, they are not parallel. They will eventually cross. All right, so let's practice describing some shapes. Um, what words do I want you to use when you describe attributes of shapes? I put some blanks here and some phrases to help you. So when you describe the attribute of a shape, you might say how many sides it has. You might say how many angles it has and how many of those angles are right angles. We might talk about opposite sides. Are opposite sides the same length? Are opposite sides parallel? You might use the words equal length to describe some of the sides or all of the sides or none of the sides. And we'll always talk about how many pairs of parallel sides there are. I probably should have put this one up towards the top because this one's pretty important. So I'm going to model this for you. 
with a few different quadrilaterals. Let's look at this shape right here. Think to yourself, you might even pause it, what are the attributes of this shape? And you can't say it's green. I know it's green, but let's use our geometric vocabulary. Well, here's an example. It's a quadrilateral, which means it has four sides. It has four right angles. All four of these angles are perfect square angles. It has two pairs of parallel sides. The top and bottom are parallel, and these two sides are parallel. And opposite sides are equal length. So this and this side are opposite. They're equal. They're the same length. This side and this side are opposite, and they are also equal length. Do you know what this shape is called? It's a rectangle. So let's try it again. I'll take a look at this shape. What are some attributes of this shape? It is also a quadrilateral. It has four sides. It has four angles, but notice I did not say four right angles. It just has four angles. None of them are actually right angles. It has one pair of parallel sides. So these sides are parallel, but these are not. So there's only one pair of parallel sides. So what would this shape be called? This shape is a trapezoid. Okay, one more. This one, my favorite color. What are the attributes of this shape? It's a quadrilateral. It has four sides. Notice all of them have, have that same attribute. It has four angles. Not four right angles, but four angles. It has two pairs of parallel sides. These are parallel and these are parallel. Opposite sides are equal length. These two are equal and these two are equal. So this shape is actually called a parallelogram. So it's not a rectangle because it doesn't have four right angles. It's not a rhombus because all four sides are not the same length. So we're going to call this a parallelogram. So let's review what words you're going to use when describing attributes of shapes because this is going to be important in your work today. You want to tell how many sides it has. You want to tell how many angles and if it has right angles. You want to talk about the opposite sides if they happen to be equal. Maybe they are parallel. How many of the sides, if any, are equal length? And always how many pairs of parallel sides there are. Okay, so if you wanted to pause this um, or go back to this video, find this section before you do your work, you can definitely do that. So let's look at what your practice is going to be today. This is page four in your packet. It is also a Google Doc for many of you. It might be in your Google Classroom. So find out from your teacher how they want you to complete this. So the first section of your work is just deciding if each of these shapes is a quadrilateral or not. Okay, so look at number one. Is this shape a quadrilateral? Yes, this shape is a quadrilateral because it has four sides and four angles. Let's look at number two. This one is not done for you, but we can still talk about it. Is this shape a quadrilateral? No, I hope you said no. It is not. So you'd put an X in the no column. And why is it not a quadrilateral? It's not a quadrilateral because it doesn't have four sides. It has five sides. So you will do, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six like this. Five if you don't count the one we, that's done for you. And then there's a short section where you are just looking at quadrilaterals and it looks like this. This is the first one and then there's two more after this. You're going to figure out what the name of the shape is and you can use your notes to help you. Remember they are on page one of your packet. And then you're going to give me three attributes of each shape. So this shape is already done for you. It's a rhombus. We already wrote the name. So what are attributes of this shape? It has four sides. It has two pairs of parallel sides. It has four equal sides. You could also say it has four angles. And you could say that opposite sides are parallel. So there's lots of different ways you can describe it. I want you to come up with three attributes using geometric vocabulary. Now what I don't want is it's kind of like a rectangle that's blowing in the wind. 
Well, that is a very poetic answer, but that does not use geometric vocabulary. Or, it's like a rectangle that is tilted. Also very visual, but it is not using geometric vocabulary. So you want you to use those words we talked about. Sides, angles, opposite sides, equal length, pairs of parallel sides. Okay? All right. Once you have finished, submit it to your teacher so we can check your work. And I will see you next time to talk some more about quadrilaterals. Thank you.